Welcome to International Securities Exchange's podcast series. Facilitated by renowned educators, ISE podcasts are intended to teach beginning as well as seasoned investors the ins and outs of trading. To find an updated list of podcasts, please visit www.isc.com slash podcasts. Please be sure to listen to our important message following this episode regarding the risks of investing in exchange-traded options. Hi, everyone. This is Elanite Levine from the ISC. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. I'm going to be taking over for Steve Meisinger um, as your host. We are very excited to have with us this afternoon Dan Passarelli, noted author, veteran options trader, and founder of Market Taker Mentoring, who will be presenting on trading FX options Greeks, understanding the factors that drive profit. Dan is the author of Trading Options Greek and founder of Market Taker Mentoring, which provides personalized one-on-one mentoring for options traders. Dan's trading career began on the floor of the Chicago Board of Options Exchange, where he traded equities as a market maker in the options pit. Dan has also traded agricultural options and futures on the Chicago Board of Trade trading floor. In addition to trading, Dan has recently been using his experience as a professional trader to educate others. In 2005, he was asked to join the Options Institute at CBOE, where he taught retail traders, brokers, institutional traders, financial advisors, and planners, money, as well as money managers and market makers. In addition to his work with the CBOE, he has also worked with the Options Industry Council, that's the OIC, teaching options to retail traders. Dan has been a featured guest on television and radio and has written numerous articles for magazines on the topic of options. Um, So if you have any questions, please make sure to to use the Q&A box so that um, we can make sure to address them directly. And um, I'm going to turn it over to Dan. Thanks. Hey, thanks a lot. Thank you very, very much for that kind introduction. Uh, this is Dan Passarelli. How's everyone doing today? Everyone hear me nice and loud and clear? All right. Well, today we'll be talking about uh, trading FX option Greeks, understanding the factors that drive profit. And uh, you may have noticed a striking similarity between the title of this presentation and the title of my book, Simply Trading Option Greeks, a bit more general. But nonetheless, you know, it's really the same concept. I've talked to a good handful of people, you know, who, who talk about um, how they trade FX, and they say, oh, you know, options, boy, I don't know, that's something totally different. But no, you know, it really doesn't, doesn't necessarily have to be. You can trade options on FX, and the thing is, if you don't have a solid understanding of how options work, you're not going to be very successful. And understanding option Greeks is the, one of the most primary goals that any aspiring option trader needs to accomplish. You need to really understand how these things work if you want to understand how options work and, and be able to be a successful trader. Now, uh, I think perhaps you have heard this already, but I do need to mention that options are not for everyone, and you should read characteristics and risks of standardized options before trading. You you can get a copy of that if you don't have one already on your bookshelf by calling 1-888-OPTIONS. Okie dokie. What I do through Market Taker Mentoring uh, at at markettakermentoring.com is I teach option trading. And here's basically when when people come to me, you know, usually they have a little bit of a background in trading. They have a little bit of a background either maybe in stocks, maybe in futures, and in this case, maybe in Forex. So I'm kind of approaching this presentation with the assumption that you know, you guys understand uh, a little something about foreign currencies and, uh, you know, at least some, some basic stuff. And what I want to do is show you how the options on Forex options work specifically. So without any more further ado, here we go. 
quite simply, there are four option Greeks that most of us would be inclined to pay attention to. And I've got them listed right here. Delta, Gamma, Theta, and Vega. And for those of you who are in fraternities or sororities in college, you may recall that Vega is not actually technically a Greek letter. <clears throat> but I don't know. I guess uh, option traders are not very creative, and they couldn't find a Greek letter that uh, would be well representative of volatility, which is what Vega is. It's a nice little alliteration with the V there, Vega for volatility, right? These four option Greeks <clears throat> help you understand your risk. That's what they're for. Now, I talk to students who say, oh, you know, I, I, don't, I don't need that stuff. You know, that stuff's way too complicated. And when you first start thinking about it, you know, I mean, it can be. There's a little bit to it for sure. And the deeper you dig, the more and more there is to it. <clears throat> but when you are trading, what's your goal? What is your goal as a trader? Well, really, you have two, right? To achieve the best reward possible, but then go, goal two kind of thwarts goal one a little bit, and that's to have the lowest risk possible, right? <clears throat> it's always this trade-off of risk versus reward, and the more potential reward, probably the more potential risk you have to take. But, you know, there's a lot of different things that affect the value of an option. They're not quite so simple as a stock or a currency or a future. And so you need to understand what all those risks are in order to gain profitability. Now, we're going to start out this presentation. Let me go back a second. We're going to start out this presentation with an explanation of what all these Greeks mean so we're all on the same page. And this is the important thing. You know, if you retain all of this stuff, all these sort of definitions, and get it a pretty good idea how it all works, then you can take a look at this tomorrow when you're looking at an option chain, and you can say, oh, yeah, I remember this. Uh, that Passarelli guy was telling me about uh, how Delta works, and you, you, can, you can kind of start putting it to use. And the more you use it, the more acclimated you get to it, the more useful these concepts become to you. Now, in the latter part of the presentation, we're going to go through a, a, a pretty realistic example. I put this example together just yesterday, so it's pretty darn fresh and current. And I will show you how a trader like me and other professional or former professional traders use options to both forecast and manage risk. <clears throat> All right, now, certainly, hold on one second here. Certainly, I see that someone asked a question here, and I'm trying to figure out how to get to it. Sorry. Give me one second here. Hmm. Okay, well, you know what, I think... Uh, I'm actually, sorry, I'm actually having a little bit of a hard time getting to the question. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably just sort of uh, hold, hold them all to the end, and then uh, I'll, I'll get it figured out there. Thank you for listening to our podcast. To find more podcasts on options, stocks, alternative markets, and market data, please visit www.isc.com slash podcasts.